My name is Reika. I'm the, one of the three co-founders and the Chief Operating Officer of Moltes. So at Moltos, we're creating the key ingredients to make cultivated meat affordable and profitable. So what that actually means is we're creating nutrients to feed animal cells so that the cells can be grown into cultivated meat, which is real meat, but grown from animal cells as opposed to cutting down animals. Current industrial animal agriculture is unsustainable. We need to find a better way to produce meat, the real meat that we know and love today. We slaughter 80 billion animals every year. The current livestock agriculture contributes more to greenhouse gas emission than the entire transportation sector. And we use 70% of our antibiotics just for livestock. It's clearly unsustainable. It clearly can't go on like this with the growing demand for meat. Back when we started Maltos, we started researching how cultivated meat is actually made. What we learned is in order to make cultivated meat, you need three key components. First, you need a small sample of, of animal cells from a healthy animal, and then the animal can just go happily live ever after. Secondly, you need a feed to grow the animal cells on. This is the proteins, fats, sugars and salts, the same components that you need in your food just to grow the cells on. And then thirdly, you need a supportive cultivating environment where you can grow the cells in. This is the bioreactors in this case, similar to how yeast is grown in beer brewing. So I have a background in biology, specialized on synthetic biology. So I always wanted to have a, a bigger impact on the world. So I've been sort of involved in a, a, different, a number of different projects and we actually met with my now two co-founders at the Synthetic Biology Society where we won a small 500 pound grant to you know, just work on our research. And we actually entered the climate launch pad um, which really helped us also refine how the business should work and really it gave us the clarity that there is actually a, a business idea behind this, not just a research opportunity. So for us really what, what was really essential is, is sort of pinning down exactly how the business model should work and, and refining that came mostly through the, the Imperial Climate Accelerator. So one of the key learnings that we had is actually that we really need to listen to what people need and really need to be open to pivoting what exactly we're working on and really continuously refining how the business model should work, what exactly is the product, just based on what the customers really need. So for example, how that translated to our work is we originally started working on just individual ingredients in the growth media. And then after talking to a lot of customers around the industry, we learned that actually a full growth media is also of a big need for our customers because they don't want to necessarily spend all their resources on figuring out how the full composition should look like. So we decided to build out a full automation pipeline just to optimize that growth media so that we can sell that as a full product as well. So we actually started researching about three and a half years ago and that led up to us bringing the first product to market in February. So since February we've been shipping to customers all around the world. We've shipped to over 50 different customers and we've been receiving some really nice feedback from them. In terms of our impact, we can categorize that into three key categories. One of them is obviously we're working on an industry that is bringing a whole new meat production pipeline into the world, which means that while we will, on a day-to-day -day basis, we will eat the same kind of meat, but it will be produced entirely differently. Secondly, what is also really interesting is that we're obviously cutting so much greenhouse gas emission from the world, we can reduce the greenhouse gas emission by 98% compared to what livestock agriculture contributes to the climate impact. And thirdly, cultivated meat needs zero antibiotics to be grown. This is especially an important problem when the WHO predicts that by 2050, more people will die as a result of antibiotic resistance diseases than as a result of cancer. So growing meat without any antibiotics is a really powerful tool to encourage like global health and, and imp have a huge impact on the people's health. So there's always a lot to do with Maltus and of course sometimes it's really helpful to just step back a little and look where we've come from and where we are right now. It's really interesting also because I think starting a company 
as a student is really empowering and it helps you like taking much less risk on at the beginning because while you're still continuing your study you can already start working on something and like as you grow with a company you also leave university and you will be in a much safer position to to be a founder. I guess one of the key challenges is that biology is just really hard to predict in terms of when things will go, how things will go and what things will actually work. So making sure that we always have some milestones that we can rely on, that we can show and that we can use as a basis of our, of our continuous growth, um, both from like internally to motivate the team, but also externally to, to talk to investors, to talk to other types of partners. Another really interesting problem or um, increase of responsibility for us was when we started having more and more people joining, some of them who have a, a, a young family who needs to support that family and suddenly our responsibility of, of succeeding actually increased so much. Yeah, there are, there are always tough points in, in, in building a startup. There is always the, the late nights that, that you need to just continue working. There is always um, the uncertainty of, of where exactly everything will be in, in a month, in two months, in six months, in a year. Of course, there is like always the, the really successful moments as well, the moments where you're really seeing that you've been progressing. But it's, sometimes it's hard to notice those moments when you're just so deep into focusing on the next, the next um, milestone, the next phase of development. And it's really important to sometimes just step back and look at what where you are and, and really celebrate the tiny moments of success. Our ambition is to be the key enabler of the cultivated meat industry's growth and ability to meet price parity. So we really want to be the key ingredient provider when cultivated meat reaches our market, reaches our restaurants, and when it really becomes the mainstream meat that we eat every day.